Ready, go. Stay there, stay there. Oh. Stay there. Yes. Stay there. Stay there. Ready, go in more. Stay there. Keep your cup, keep your cup. Grind more! Keep your cup. Take a little bit more, take a little bit more. Yeah. Grind if you want. Oh yeah, keep it there. Drag, drag, drag. Oh yeah. Hey, he's opening up, you got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you still walk. Nice match. Ooh, ah. Back pressure, back pressure, back pressure. Back pressure. Oh. oh yeah, stay there. Ah. Oh. oh hey, be safe, be safe. Yeah. Good job. Uh. Good for Today's episode, I'm with Casey, who's an arm wrestler, and I'm super happy to be here. I'm at his club. We're just practicing, I'm shooting some projects behind the scene. I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for me to get some arm wrestling content for you guys. Cause you guys know on this channel, I'm always talking about getting bigger forms and you guys have seen the footage of me arm wrestling one time, which is actually the last time I was actually arm wrestling on an actual table. I know AD is probably watching this video too, just dying of laughter, but I got to the root of the source. This is one of the go-to clubs in Montreal for arm wrestling and I'm really happy, I'm honored to have Casey who's gonna show me right now some beginner stuff. I know that the whole audience for the most part does not know much about arm wrestling but Casey's gonna break it down. So today's first episode, we're gonna be going over how to warm up in arm wrestling and just some basic stuff. So it's not too spe specified this episode but it's gonna take me through a warm up and a little bit more and be sure to tune into the next couple episodes. So. I don't know much about this one, right, so, so show me the off, basics. You just grab the peg, put your elbow on the pad, and then you know how you pin? Like you just go over here, right? Okay. And then you just like go back and forth. That's to warm up? Yeah, that's to warm up this area. Okay. First. You, you do it very lightly though. Like not, not like forced, just, just. I got you. And notice you lean your body into it. Yeah. Because most people do this, and it's. Right. And then, then you go from the line up. Just warm this. Okay, your wrist, right? Yeah. All those cracks and pops. Right, right. <laughs> and then you use your lat. Okay, so I Alright, now go back to the... I noticed you bring that elbow below the table, like... Yeah, that's how, that's how it's supposed to go. Because it's like, when you do it like this, it's like you're, you're crushing yourself. Right. If you like let yourself down, it's gonna be you got you. You can move a lot more freely. There you go. No. Right. Actually how I would do it yeah. and like right. Obviously I'd be in a split stance, I'm not gonna be not gonna yeah. have my two legs like this, right? Exactly, yeah. Oh okay, yeah, I would get my head close there too. I'm good. I'm gripping here. I'm basically using a lot of lats and trying to pull. Yeah. This handle towards me, I'm trying to pull. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using a lot of lats, a lot of grip, a lot of wrist curl. And I'm trying to basically hammer curl your hand yes, that's, towards yeah, me. That's, that's very important. Okay, now that's all I know for yeah. this part. Now look at your leg placement. The, the, the arm you're arm wrestling with is the leg you put forward. So if you're arm wrestling with your right arm, you put your left. Right, right, right. And then if you're arm wrestling with your left leg, it's like forward. Right, 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 I got you. Percent. And your other leg should be either. It's like wherever you feel comfortable to go sideways. You understand? Right. So it's, it's different for everyone because like different heights. So like one person could sit with one stance the entire match and go down, come back up the same way. Right. While other people, they have to like switch and then they move their leg either to the forward, like uh, to the side or behind them. Right. Um, so from leg placement, and then I would, you'd, you'd have to put your hip on the table and square your shoulders with the table. Right. Yeah. And then there's different grips, you can have to grip it like that, like that, like that. This is uncomfortable, but it works for certain people. Certain reasons. But the most uncomfortable I find is to grip like that. Cause you yeah, can, for you, sure. Because you can use this to push. Like, you know you, you know how you said you're... I'm a curl, I'm a curl, curl. right. You push this. Ah, I like that, I like that. And then as you're doing that, you keep contact with this, and you drop below. You see right. how you do it? And you, the, the leg goes forward, it's a lot more comfortable to... Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. So let's. Uh, okay. So I'll give you. I'll give you a little hit, and we'll right. see like what. <laughs> tell me what you think. All right. All right. I start. I always start with the straight. That's what they're saying in the competition. Right. Yeah. 
for the podium, right? Yeah, go. So, nah, it's whack, huh? Okay, no, I have to get more body in it, huh? Yeah, no, okay. All right. Another thing I'm going to show you is you're losing. Now, some people, it's good to do this in, in, in a sense. As long as you're keeping this inside of this, you see the shoulder line? The shoulder line here? Right. Keep this hand, this hand inside there at all times. But I don't pass this line here. Right, right, but right. Try to keep it inside here. Right. And then as you're doing that, don't do this. Look. Don't do that. Along, like, just always keep this line right here. You see what I'm doing? Right. This is going past there. So there's a lot of core involved. Yes. I want to keep my my fist in this this line right here. Right. This line, this shoulder line. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's where you're. Another thing is that you, when you're close, when this and this are closer to your body, that's when you're stronger. So should I, when I'm setting up, should I be like... Your elbow should be like a little bit inside here. Yeah. Straighten this out. And then some people are more comfortable with capping their thumb or not capping their thumb. Okay. Try that out. And cap your thumb. It's like cover it. I want to hide your thumb or what? No, hide your thumb. Yeah, some people... Okay, like the thumb is... Okay. Yeah, some people are more comfortable like that. No, no, no. Yeah. I have to keep it on. Okay, now how would you go about it from here? Like to actually pin me. Okay. Okay, does this should I have the elbow boom? No. Or not? No. But that stops you from Okay, so this has a little drop yeah. to it. But don't don't ever like put it here. Don't ever do that. Either you can like keep it up here and then drop below. Okay, it should be like a Exactly, yeah. And how far? How far should my fist be from my body? I should as close as possible. Because here, here's how I set up in a tournament. See how close that is? Yeah. And then you saw it. Our like our faces are like a fist apart then. Yes, exactly. Okay. So wherever, like, you don't even do hammer curls, like you're really strong up here, right? Right. That's where you want it. So it this is where I'm strong with the hammer curl right here. Everyone is. Of course. Yeah, these try to... Right. Because that's the first thing you want to do. Got you. Okay. So I'm here. Okay. We're gonna go over the moves in other episodes, you know. Right now we're kind of rambling all over the place. I'm just getting my feet wet, you know. But okay. So when I'm the judge, you'd be like, go and just. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what's my left hip doing? It's either. Uh, how do I say this? It's either either just staying in a place or moving all around. It's no really. Gosh. Like, but that right hip is. It's all. It's always in there. Like as soon as you lose it, it's like. Mm, okay. You, you lose connection with the table. Okay. Three, two, one. Now we'll be going into another one very soon. Next